Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're going to be making some homemade sausage this morning. So stay with me. We're going to start right now. Okay, so we're going to be making some homemade sausage this morning. And we have breadcrumbs. We have a slightly beaten egg to go in it. We're also putting thyme, parsley, sage, onion powder, and garlic powder. And if you want a little kick, you can add a little cayenne pepper. And as always, we'll add just a tiny bit of salt. It always brings out the flavor. Even if you don't want a lot of sodium or want a lot of salt, it just brings out the flavor. So sometimes you only need a pinch. Hey guys, so you want to make sure you either have really clean hands or use gloves. I personally don't like gloves too much, so I only use them when I am making something for someone else and I need to ship it off or something like that. So just make sure you have really clean hands because we're going to get in here and mix it up. You just want to put everything in here and mix it, mix it all up. You don't want to mix it too much because if you do, then your meat will be tough. That's what makes it kind of tight and pour all that egg in there. Let's get right on in there. And I kind of don't measure my seasonings because I've been doing this so long, but I'll have the recipe in the description with um, exact measurements of everything so that you'll know exactly. But then when it comes to seasonings and things like sausages, you can always make them according to your taste. You may not like cayenne pepper, so you may want to omit that if you don't want that little kick in there. And as always, you guys know, my favorite go-to seasonings, onion powder and garlic powder. Can't do without that. I like real onion and I like real garlic too. Uh, so I use those a lot as well. And uh, I even like raw onion. That's, that's kind of my favorite. So you just want to get in here and mix it up by hand real good. Once this is all mixed, then we'll come back and I'll show you how to Form your patties. Okay, so we have everything mixed up here, all of our seasonings, and as you can see, it's not firmly packed or anything. So now we're going to just form our sausages. I tend to like sausage links a lot, so that's what I'm going to form, but surely you can just form them in patties. You want to make them just a tad bit larger than what you think you might want them to be, because as they cook, they will shrink. And for the Sausage links, you just kind of roll them. Just kind of roll them, form them a little bit. And then one thing that we will do after we have them all formed, we will put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes so they can firm up really well. And that way, as you're cooking them, you need maybe about a, a meatball size amount, um, maybe a little bit more, but we'll, we'll firm them up in the freezer that way, when we start to cook them, they won't just fall apart. They will actually cook into the form and the size that you have them. So, this is how we get them all formed up. All right, so we have all of our sausage links formed. I just kind of want to bring it in there so you guys can see. They're all hand formed. And that was just under a pound of ground pork. And I think I paid like 80 cent for it at the supermarket. And this is 13. This is, if you, if you count that, that's 13 links. And I think in a package of sausage links, your average is about 14. There may be a dozen to 14 in a package. I probably would have paid $5, 4 dollars 4 50 If I got them on sale, maybe 2 50 you know, in the supermarket. So, you know, I know what's in these. They're healthier because I know what's in these and there's not all those preservatives. I just use regular spices. I actually buy my spices in bulk. That's why I put them in here. It's my little trusty spice rack that I have a whole cabinet full that I don't have room for on my spice rack. Add in an egg, breadcrumbs, and the breadcrumbs, I literally just took two slices of bread 
put them in my blender and blended them up. So that's how I got the breadcrumbs. So you see guys, there's nothing in there that we don't know and there's nothing in there that we cannot pronounce. So now we're going to stick these in the freezer for about 10 minutes so they can firm up. Then we'll be back and we'll cook them. So right now they're all firmed up. I just took them out of the freezer and we are ready to cook. I am going to put just a little bit of olive oil in my skillet. I like to use my cast iron skillet, but you can use any skillet, you know, that you have or want. Let that warm up for a second or two. And we're just going to put our sausage links. Let's grab one. We're just going to lay them in there and get them all in there. I kind of like them going in the same direction. That way when I get ready to turn them, I can turn them easily. And that's one thing, when you're cooking these fresh like this, you have to keep constantly turning them. None of that cook on one side, flip once, that doesn't work. So we're going to get these all in here and get them cooked up. And guys, I like to put a couple of sprigs of rosemary in my skillet. It just gives it a nice flavor. You don't have to do that. I, I both, mostly do it because I grow it, so it's readily available. I just go out there and grab me a few sprays and I just like the flavor. It's, it's one of my favorites. So we're just going to let these cook here and we're going to be turning them over quite often and we'll be back in a minute to see how they turn out. Okay, so we are just about done here. I have a few more in the skillet. We are going to go ahead and give one a taste since I have a baker's dozen. And hit that subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my videos. And tap that bell so that you can get notified when they're uploaded. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, that looks good inside. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And for me, it has just the right amount of kick. See you next time. Thanks for watching.